equation and just follow the same steps that we've been using. Oh, I would like his class because he would have like a lot of patience. Like if you wouldn't get something, he would explain it step by step and in many other ways. Sometimes like he would like, like a normal teacher would get after me because I'll be talking and stuff. But after that, like I'd cool off. Why did we divide by a negative one here? But he, like, he would never yell, which was like the best part. Like all the other teachers yell. He's all chill and cool. He said that whenever I needed help, that just to let him know and he'll give me tutoring sessions. He'll tell me to come after school and he'll help me. And I would, and it actually did really help me a lot. I like got A's and that's how I passed my STAR test for Mr. Rick. Five, four. Good. At the end of the day, he goes home physically and emotionally tired because he has put in 100% effort physically and emotionally to make sure that his students are successful. And when a teacher has that kind of love for their job and for their students, that's the kind of passion I like to see in a teacher. Sometimes we look at education, is it an art or is it a science? And we have these debates sometimes. And I would say that Mr. Wrinkle knows how to uh, teach using both, with math as an art and as a science. Um, he knows how to touch kids' hearts, how to make them feel good, how to make them feel confident. And that's when teaching really becomes an art. They know I love math, and I think that that comes out naturally. And I see this, any success that they have in math, I'm quick to point it out to them and try to build upon it. You can kind of, you pretty much can gauge where your students are, and I think if you're hard-lined with them, and uh, that's just not my approach. I like to encourage. Them.